over a period of I think three years and that was really written for all of the people in my life you see I just wrote the call it love album and that was basically how I dealt with my, my with my divorce so I needed to find some peace of mind and get back to who it was that I am and I found sanctuary within, again, within people, within books. I always knew I wanted to be a musician. I was just incredibly shy. Then as I grew older, music became an obsession. I would only start writing music when my daughter was asleep at night. And that's why I have insomnia, by the way. Um, and then I went to a psychic and the, uh, the psychic said, look, music is your calling. And I said to her, nonsense, man. Everyone sings, everyone wants to sing. But she was sort of convinced, and uh, that's where it started. I signed. I got signed in a very unconventional way. Um, there's a lovely lady. She she is now passed. Her name is Maria, and um, she asked for my music. This is on Facebook, by the way, Facebook. And and I said sure. And then um, I sent her all of my material. And I didn't know that her husband actually owned the record label. And that's pretty much how I got signed. And that's what started everything off. Turn up the music, I love it to death. But give me a second to catch my breath. I give it my all till I have nothing left. Open your ears and go something like this. In terms of the musical influences, actually they really come from books because I read a lot. So I read for words and I read for sounds and, um, and nature and people. Really Radiohead, a lot of jazz, a lot of uh, the Negro spirituals that my father used to play, even though he can't sing, that music is always going on in the background, the jazz and the blues. When I write music I have an idea of lyrics, I have an idea of harmony. Mostly I have an idea of the feel that I would want. So in terms of music, I have an idea of what I would like to experience. If I don't write music, I'm going to lose my mind. Music is a way that I can deal with my emotions. So if someone really upsets me, I'm going to kill them off in music in the most horrific ways. And of course the performing. Performing is a way of releasing all of those emotions. Have I ever had to sing for a minute? All the time! All the time! This is the thing I tell my friends. It's like, of course I'll come to sing for you. Make sure there's good food and whiskey. And I have such great friends. They actually, they actually always make sure there's whiskey. <laughs> the gig that meant the most to me was when I sang on um, the Rainbow Warrior on Green Pieces on the boat. That and I sang the song that I actually wrote for, for the Arctic 30, for the, for the Greenpeace volunteers that were imprisoned by the Russian government. And so the boat came into Cape Town and I actually got to sing on it. And what was really cool was that the captain, he then had my name on lights, like going around the Orioles, around the, around the Rainbow Warrior. That, that was cool. That was a highlight. Everything that you believe Is it all for nothing? Cause all I want is for you Come home to me Come home to me You tried to warn me Said it wouldn't be easy Please believe me It's not all The song 
in my lover's bed took a few hours, but that is because I was crying a lot <laughs> while I was writing that song. But generally, if I'm sitting with someone, um, under an hour, that's that's how long it would take. I think it's a bit arrogant to say, oh, that's going to happen to you. So I'm just looking forward to whatever comes next. And that really ties in with my motto, awareness through music. Because if you've been gifted with a voice or with any kind of talent, you should put it to some use. I am very passionate about people. One of the people that I ran into that has had a very big impact on my life is, her name is Gilda Scammell. Um, she runs the Living Cornerstone Alzheimer's Homes. And when I first met her, um, I was incredibly lost. And this woman, she took me in completely, made me part of her family. And also, I got some training around Alzheimer's. And before I could say it, she said to me, would you like to be the ambassador for TLC Alzheimer's? Home? And I said, yes. So that's one of the things that I'm very, very passionate about is creating awareness around Alzheimer's. It wasn't actually done for uh, to be stylish. It was really not done for that. Um, I went through a really hard time in terms of losing a whole lot of people, and then I decided to shave my head in order to remember that I am no longer the same. That those losses and those things that happened to me have changed me. Yes. Even though my father hates it, hates it. He thinks no one else on this planet has this hairstyle. 